3, the Bible says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath, under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me, and keep my commandments. And so what I want to preach about is, is this thing about Halloween and idolatry. Why Christians need to come out of Halloween, come out from it, and, and, and not participate in it. Because here's what you got to understand. Idolatry uh, has a lot to do with Halloween. Halloween is a day where these people worship the devil. And what people am I talking about? I'm talking about witches. I'm talking about warlocks. I'm talking about sorcerers. I'm talking about Satanists. All these people gather together and they worship the devil. On this demonic day, there is nothing godly about Halloween. And there's nothing Christian about believers in Christ uh, getting together and doing something on that day, you know, like trick-or-treating or being a part of a Halloween bash, that's not godly. And so I'm going to preach about this because the Bible says that we as believers in Christ, we should not worship other gods. You know, if, if you're saved and you're born again, you know that there's only one God. And the God that we worship is Jehovah God. Jesus Christ is also, again, he, Jesus is God. Now, he's not the Father, but he's God. And we worship uh, God Almighty. Amen. We don't worship any other God. We don't worship any pagan gods. We don't worship any gods uh, from the Middle East or from other parts of the world. We worship God Almighty. That's who we worship and serve today and every day of our lives. Amen. And today's Sunday. We gave glory to God today because it's Sunday. And, and again, we come to church on Sunday. But I'm here to remind you all that Halloween comes from a, a pagan holiday called Sanum. A lot of its traditions and its practices come from the day Sanum. And if you do your history, that was a pagan holiday. That was a festival where all the pagans got together and and, and they, they did all these, you know, sacrifices. They worshiped their gods, you know. And, and let me remind you, the Bible says that worshiping other gods is demonic because the Bible says that their gods are demons. If you study the Bible, you study Christian history, you study pagan history a lot of what these people do are satanic practices in fact you know the church of satan they'll tell you even anton levey the, the the founder of the church of satan would tell you that a lot of their traditions and practices are based on paganism and anton levey himself said you know paganism is just a euphemism for satanism that's what he once said and and there is a connection because a lot of the stuff they do is demonic. They talk about demon possession. They talk about worshiping other gods. They talk about sacrificing human life, sacrificing babies. That's satanic stuff. That is demonic. So the Bible tells us that, you know, there are people today. They want to celebrate the devil. They want to worship the devil. And I'm here to tell you, as believers in Christ, we need to stay away from this crap. If you're saved, you're born again, you need to come out from idolatry. You know, the Bible tells us that the people of Israel in the Old Testament, they worshipped other gods. They forsook the God of the Bible, and guess what? They went to some other gods like Baal and all those other gods, and God judged them for that. God had to punish them for that. It is a sin to get involved in idolatry. And I'm here to tell you Christians today, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I say this with love. If you celebrate Halloween, you're partaking in idolatry. You're worshiping other gods. When you go trick-or-treating, that has a lot to do with paganism. When you get involved with all these satanic practices, that is called paganism. Okay, what you're doing is no different from getting involved with the occult, with Ouija boards and all that satanic stuff. None of us should be partaking in the occult. But the occult has a lot to do with Halloween. That's what they do on those days, on Halloween. We need to stay away from that. And so I'm here to tell you something, Christian. There's only one God, the God of the Bible. And I'm talking about Jehovah God Almighty. Okay, the Lord. All right. I'm a born again Christian and I believe there's only one God. All right, and I have no other reason to worship another god. Solomon was a believer in God, but at some point he fell and started worshiping the gods of his concubines and wives. And he messed himself up like that. You know, and so we don't want to do that. We don't want any regrets. We don't want to mess up our lives. We want to remember that there's only one God, and the gods on the other side are not going to help us. They're not going to make our life any better. God is the one 
that gives us peace, love, happiness, joy. He is the one that makes us prosper, the Bible says. And so I'm here to tell you something. Halloween is satanic. It is of the devil. And these people worship other gods. And you and me need to worship only one God. And that's it, the Lord. And so I'm telling you today, come out from among her. You know, come out from this pagan holiday. Come out from this idolatry and serve the Lord God Almighty. Amen. And so I'm praying for each and every one of us. Uh, I'm praying for all my brothers and sisters that you understand that there's no reason for us to get involved with this. If you love God, get right with the Lord and stay away from this stuff. Amen. God bless you all.